Careful, Pluto, it could be slippery. Good morning, modern steaders. Today's the real first day of winter. So the good thing about that is that means yesterday was the shortest day of the year and today we're gonna start gaining daylight. That's exciting. Everyone keeps asking about the Icelandic chickens. They're doing great. They're mixed in with the flock. And he's got a crazy hairdo as always. I was joking around yesterday morning when I woke up it was 22 degrees outside and I said you know you live in a northern climate when you go outside and you think 20 is warm it's been negative 5, negative 10 lately and it wasn't even winter it was still the middle of December we were getting like January and February weather here so when it's 20 degrees out it feels warm which is crazy Let's go give the pigs their morning cup of coffee. Oh, I bet the chickens would like a nice flake of hay. Give them something to play with. They like their fresh greens every once in a while. The snow came off the house roof last night and the outdoor kitchen roof. When that was happening, Figaro wasn't liking it. We got rain yesterday, so everything's pretty crunchy and slick. Good morning. Their gate was frozen shut from the rain last night. We'll let you out when we get back from work this afternoon. And then you can run around. I guess we're making them some tea this morning because that hay's frozen in there. But that's fresh hay. That'll make some nice tea for him. Good morning. That's your fresh cup of coffee. You got an herbal tea mix this morning. Here, it's steeped long enough. We'll take it out for you. There you go. Enjoy the tea. You like the tea? I thought you would. Don't flip it over. You'll be without, oh no. I don't understand pigs. It's been so cold. We haven't used the outdoor kitchen lately. Nothing's changed in there. If you haven't seen the outdoor kitchen, I'll put a link right here to the outdoor kitchen tour we did that shows you the whole finished outdoor kitchen. We gotta get the Kubota ready for winter. Believe it or not, it's winter time. 
and it's not ready. We gotta get the pig shelter winterized. So tomorrow we'll be getting the pig shelter winterized. Coming up, we'll be getting the Kubota winterized. And we'll be using the cold smoker for making some more bacon. We got the bacon in the fridge. I gotta take that out of the cure, let it dry for a couple of days, and then we can put it in the cold smoker. That's gonna be good. I'm thinking about bringing that over to my in-laws for Christmas and cooking up some fresh bacon and sharing it with the in-laws and the brother-in-laws and sister-in-laws. I think that'll be fun. As you can see, most of the snow is off our roof. We just got a little bit left here and there. The front side is cleaned just like the kitchen. It warmed up yesterday in rain, so it made the snow all fall off the roofs. The sky looks pretty neat this morning. I need to see if I can take care of one more thing before I head off for work. The other day I noticed the windshield washer fluid was going down really quick. I put some more in, and then on Monday, I had like no pressure and the washer fluid was just about gone. I'm like, what the heck? I haven't had time to check it over. I know I got a leak. Let's see if we can fix the leak before work this morning. It's not fun driving around in the slop without your windshield washer working. What I did notice the other day is there's no leak under the truck from where the windshield washer fluid is. But when I lay on the windshield washer fluid, I get fluid everywhere dripping out right underneath my washer container. I'm hoping it's just a broken hose. Let's see. See what I'm talking about? I got fluid everywhere. Man, it's dripping out here, my fender too. So that makes me think we got a broken hose higher up. We got our hoses that go to our wiper blades. Follow them back. The connection right here. There's a loose spot. Let's see. Right in here. It's wet. Oh, it's cut. Sweet. I don't know how good you can see that or not, but you always gonna be prepared for the worst. But there's a cut right there. It's a hard plastic, so it just looks like a dry rod and cracked. So I'm gonna cut it. Ew. Yeah. That hose is not the hose is pretty brittle. Get a fresh clean cut on both ends. And I have some hose, but hopefully I can just put a union in. They make unions for vacuum hose and washer fluid hose. It's handy to always keep some around. It's very inexpensive. It's an easy repair. All right, those are not the right size. <coughs> Burr, that wind is cold. Hopefully this is the right size. Yes. Awesome. <sighs> All right. Let's hope that fixes it. I just cut it and I joined the union. Fingers crossed, let's pick up everything. I don't know if you saw that or not, but we were getting some fluid spray up and out of here. There's another leak or another crack down there. You can't see it. I gotta take the battery out to get to that one. So that'll be tomorrow's project. And while we're taking the battery out, we'll put a new battery in. There's no point in taking my battery out when it's not good and not replacing it. There's always something to do here. Let me show you what my answer is for now, since my windshield washer fluid's not working. My windshield
window down if I have to and I can squirt my squirt bottle full of washer fluid out. I should replace that whole hose down from the windshield washer pump up to that union or really up to where it goes where our wiper arms are. So if I remember on the way home I'll stop and I'll pick that up. There won't be enough daylight unfortunately to replace that tonight when we get home. So I'll have to do that tomorrow and get it fixed. Yep. So that'll be part of tomorrow's video. We'll be putting a new battery in the truck and repairing that washer fluid hose. And we'll be doing some more stuff. Hopefully winterizing the chicken coop. Let's get some wood in the wood stove before we go to work. We'll be back. Now that we're home from work, let's go feed the pigs some of our leftover food scrap and let them out on the pasture. That's just fun to watch. Smell the grain. I shouldn't say grain, the leftover food. You're crazy. See some squash in there. Look at all that delicious goodness. We got some spaghetti squash skin, some carrots from when we made bone broth, and from when we made our chicken pot pie and all the eggs. You know what else we haven't done together in a while? We haven't gone to collect the chicken eggs together. Only been getting like one or two eggs a day. We're getting over the shortest day of the year. We're gonna start gaining daylight, and that also means we're gonna start gaining some eggs. Excuse me, lady. Just one? Any more? No, we got an egg. That's one, that's a quarter of our breakfast. That's where we're gonna end today's video. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'm gonna go inside and start getting some leftover chicken pot pie ready. I hope everybody is ready for Christmas and getting ready to enjoy the season. We're not quite sure yet of what kind of video we're gonna be doing on Christmas. On Christmas Day, your Christmas Day, there will be a Lumna Acres video out there of just our, what we're doing normally because when you're celebrating Christmas, we're two days ahead of that. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.